We're the neurons in your brain. We talk to each other to control everything your body does. Dendrite. Dendrites are part of a neuron. They carry information to the cell body. Soma. The soma, also known as the cell body, is the metabolic center of the neuron. The soma contains a nucleus. Dendrites carry information to the soma, and axons carry information away from the soma. Nucleus. Every cell in the body has a nucleus. The nucleus contains our genes, DNA. Axon. The axon is the output pathway of the neuron. Information flows through the axon in an electrical signal called an action potential. The axon carries information away from the cell body. At the end of the axon are swellings called axon terminals or presynaptic terminals. Neurotransmitters are released from these terminals, sending a signal to the next cell. Axon terminal. The axon terminal is the endpoint of the axon. Vesicles containing neurotransmitter are located in the axon terminal. The neurotransmitter in these vesicles is released when an action potential arrives at the axon terminal. Synapse. The synapse is a small gap separating neurons. Information flows from one neuron to another and crosses the synapse. Neurotransmitter leaves the axon terminal of one neuron and crosses the synapse to the dendrite of another neuron. When I want to send a message, an action potential travels down my axon to my nerve terminals. When an action potential gets to my synapse, neurotransmitter is released into the synaptic cleft. Receptors on my dendrites taste the neurotransmitter and a small electrical signal called a postsynaptic potential travels to my soma. But with so many synapses on my dendrites, which ones do I listen to? Hi. We're, We're neurotransmitters. neurotransmitters. We are released from an axon terminal. We wander through the synaptic cleft to a nearby dendrite. Hi, I'm an axon terminal. I release neurotransmitter, which I send into the synaptic cleft for dendritic spines to taste. Me, I'm a dendritic spine. I receive neurotransmitter, and if I taste enough of them, I send an electrical signal to the soma. So, how do synapses get stronger? By working together. If we release our neurotransmitter at the same time, my postsynaptic potentials are larger. When this happens many times, changes occur at the synapse. I make more receptors to taste all that neurotransmitter. We get better at releasing neurotransmitter, too. With lots of activity, new synapses may be formed.
Some connections get stronger. Weaker ones lose out. This requires changes in gene expression. When you practice an activity, proper connections are made. A circuit carries information.